Now, folks, as you're probably aware, we're in the midst of a huge trade war with China. The president had placed tariffs on hundreds of billions of dollars worth of imports, and it's been going on for over 15 months. To put that in perspective, if you had a baby when the trade war started, by now, that infant would understand tariffs as much as Trump does. <laughs> but global trade, admittedly, admittedly, global trade is hard to understand. Fortunately, we here at The Late Show have an expert at not understanding things. Her name is Bootsy Plunkett. And she is our uninformed correspondent and the mother of my field producer, Jake Plunkett. Jake, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Good to see you. Appreciate How are you? It. Good man. Yeah, thank you. A good man. Thank you. Now, your, your wonderful mother has covered everything from the midterm elections to the Russia investigation mm -hmm. as our uninformed correspondent. Is it safe to say that she is equally uninformed about the trade war with China? Yes, I think that's fair. Okay. <laughs> And we are nothing if not fair here. That's right, yeah. Okay. And to help Bootsy understand how these Chinese tariffs affect the economy, you thought it would be a good idea to send her to Chinatown with Nobel Prize winning economist Paul Krugman. <laughs> yeah, that's You thought true. that would be a good idea. I did, yeah, that, that's my... That's Let's my find idea. out if, if Jake was right, Jim. Bootsy was thrilled to be reunited with her beloved crew. Hey, guys. Long time no see. All right. Tanner. Uh, nope. Chad. Nope, that's Tanner. That's Wit. Wit, <laughs> how you doing? And with 2020 fast approaching, I wanted her to become informed on key issues before she votes. Today's topic, tariffs. But first, we had some catching up to do. Have you ever done anything illegal? I stole a jar of olives. What? I went in the store, I was very hungry, and I love olives. And I stuck them under my shirt. Didn't you and, and my grandmother, weren't you guys notorious for having sticky fingers and constantly stealing and shoplifting? And my sister Ronnie inherited that gene and she got banned from a Kohl's. You know why? Because she got greedy. She took too many bras. One was plenty. You don't go taking six or seven. Right. If you're going to do something illegal, you do it smart. Yeah, you do it the right way. Today, you're going to talk to world-renowned economist Paul Krugman. OK. Do you know who that is? No. OK. Well, he's an economist. OK. Do you know anything about the economy? Yeah, that it sucks right now. Ooh-hoo! Rocky roads! Fix these potholes, bitches! So what would you want to ask Paul Krugman? Well, first I want to ask him, what is a tariff? Because when you first told me about this, seriously, I thought I was going to go get my fortune read. What else? Oh, he's uh, Tom Cruise's uncle. <laughs> yep, he should talk to him about that. Has anybody in the car talked to him? I talked to him. Is he nice? Um, he's, he's really nice. He doesn't really like your segments. Oh my God. Hi, my name is Bootsy. I'm here with The Late Show with Stephen Colbert in Chinatown at Jing Fong Restaurant to eat Chinese food with Paul Krugman and also to find out if he's really Tom Cruise's uncle. Paul, what exactly is a tariff? Inform me, because I know nothing about tariffs. OK, so tariff is, is a tax. It's like uh, any kind of tax, except it's a tax that gets paid when you bring something into the country. How does that affect me personally? Oh, at this point, we think that the Trump tariffs are costing a typical family something like $800 a year. It's all hidden. It's all buried in the cost of stuff you buy. But there's actually a pretty fair, it's a pretty fair amount of money. That's crazy, right? Trump himself says it's, it's the Chinese are paying the tariffs, but that's not true. The economy's... Oh, good God. Mr. Paul, you got to eat this with me. Oh, geez. Oh. I've had the experience of... Uh, being at Chinese banquets where you're expected to eat a little of everything and then spending the, the night uh, 
uh, kneeling, ah. kneeling in front of the toilet because ah. there was too much, uh, too many courses. That was me in the 70s. Uh, too much drinking, Paul, right? Right. <laughs> uh, How about this? No. You know what I did? I smoked pot that was so strong that I stuck my head out the bathroom window and I said to my husband, do you feel the blood pumping through your veins? And he goes, no. I said, oh, I do. And I was having a bad reaction to it. All right. So my father told me to, you know, shoot six beers to come down off the pot. So I've never done <laughs> that. Uh... No, Paul. That's OK. I'm just telling you about me. But no, we can't I... judge each other, right, Paul? No. You know? So yeah, 800 a year. I live another 20 years. That's a lot of money. You know, if Donald Trump had said, I am going to charge every American family 800 a year, I want to punish the Chinese, and in order to let me punish the Chinese, everybody's going to have to pay him for a year, there'd be a firestorm po politically. Everybody would be. But because he does it in so this way. So people don't really know they're even being charged. That's the point. Because I didn't know either. That's right. I could tell you right now, this is uh, pig's feet. It's chicken feet. Chicken feet? They are giving us some pretty um, reasonably Chinese stuff. This is not good. Oh, my God. You know, if someone's sick and they're too skinny, they're emancipated. That's what my mother said. Look at that emancipated woman or whatever. It's never been emancipated. And I've said it my whole life. And I look stupid. It's emaciated. Yes, I know. The, uh... Now I know. So what else can you tell me about tariffs? Not only is the tariff policy bad and kind of stupid, it's also unpopular. When an economy like this, you'd expect a president to have like 60% approval. And he's got like 40% approval. And uh, so... He's got a little ways to go. Putting the tariff on, on, on washing machines and... Um, and um, getting the Chinese to cut off tofu sales, uh, that's not actually appealing. There's, there's no base for that. That's, that's just him. That's just what he wants to do. Um, I heard from somebody that Tom Cruise is your nephew. Tom Cruise? No? That not is... That is... No, he's not. It, 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 no, it's totally... Uh, uh, <laughs> I think this Nobel Prize winner had taught my mom all he could. Real short and sweet, what did you learn today? So, uh, President Trump is a sneaky f <laughs> that puts tariff, no, this is true, tariff charges that we don't know nothing about coming out of our pockets. There's some tariff charges. So, hold on, on I said keep it short. Uh, all right, that's it. So are you yay tariffs or nay tariffs? Nay! Great, do your sign off. Hi, this is Bootsy with The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. I was at Fang Yang. No, I don't know where We're it was. Close enough. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jake. Thank you, Bootsy. You're a national treasure. We'll be right back.